Being a responsible citizen, being part of the planet, is something that we should do 24-7. In fact, we should do it 25-7, if possible. 25 hours a day. Change is already happening, so of course climate change can't be prevented, but what we're working on is trying to get the solutions in time to prevent the worst, most dangerous aspects of climate change. And that means very, very tough action. It means reorienting global investment with um, very strong policy signals in the next couple of years. My name's Kate Hampton, I'm Head of Policy at Climate Change Capital. Climate Change Capital is a specialist investment banking group and we manage funds which we invest in uh, clean technology and also uh, clean energy assets and carbon emission reduction around the world. When I hear about a problem, I start to think about all the limitations and obstacles that I would have to jump over to make this happen. And a 15-year-old doesn't even consider time, space, money. They just think, yeah, let's do this. Let's do it right now. That they don't have to wait to make billions of dollars like Bill Gates or be a rock star like Bono to make the world a better place. My name is Nancy Lublin, and I'm from New York, and I'm the CEO of Do Something, which is one of the largest organizations for teenagers in the United States. Fifteen years old and have a great idea and do something will help make that happen. Maybe we'll give you funding or maybe we'll give you some training or maybe we'll help you find other people to work with you. So um, you, can, you can be young and you can have an impact. So it's really all about being an action platform and getting young people to not raise money or just talk about things, but do something. Most people are quite familiar now with renewable energy technologies like wind and solar power. Um, also, future technologies which are on the verge of becoming commercial, like carbon capture and storage. Um, and there are all sorts of other technologies, energy storage, improving batteries, which would help um, us move to electric cars. So there's a whole range of technologies out there. It's just a question of putting them together in the right way with the right financing and policies. We've worked with a lot of kids to help them reform their own schools. They've created uh, entire plans for energy reduction and reducing carbon footprints at their schools. So not going to the principal and saying, hey, you should do this, but the kids themselves making plans. We've done this in about 200 schools. That's just one example. Socially responsible investing has always been a small part of overall investing. Um, the key idea behind our company's work and behind my work is to try and make it as mainstream as possible. As it moves into the mainstream, I think those investors are starting to get the picture that this is an exciting new sector um, that will grow. Um, obviously, they have to be sure that the opportunities are really there, and we need to see very strong commitments from governments um, that um, they are moving towards a low-carbon economy. We're funded by a lot of major corporations, and it's terrific. We have great relationships with really good companies. They want to make money. But I think that consumers are now part of the equation and that they want to purchase items from companies they believe in. We invest in uh, cleaning up factories in China. We also invest in building wind farms in the UK. At the moment, we manage $1.5 billion worth of assets, um, and we're hoping very much that that will grow. I love Do Something, and I love being involved in young social change because I feel like instead of working on one issue, by working with millions of young people, it's hitting every issue.
I first got interested in atmospheric protection when I was about 12 years old. I, got, I read an article about the ozone layer and that got me interested in, in this area. And by the time I'd gone to university, uh, climate change had become the major threat. And so that's what I've worked on all my professional life and I don't intend to give up. So if we reach 11 million young people, that's like a silent army. A silent army that we're engaging on every issue and problem out there. It's so powerful.